Hello and welcome to another exciting box opening edition of Mark Fixes Stuff. This one is so epic. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. Well, I don't even know what's in it, to be honest, so I'm lying. But it's addressed to Mark Shiny Plums McPain of Genital Punishment Limited. Thanks, Ross Taylor Green. You Anyway, um... Uh, I, I'm gonna have to move the camera to show you the epic scale of this box. Here we go. I mean, would you look at the size of it? It's like a positive citadel. And this isn't a separate box. No, this is stuck on top. Like a head has been stuck on top. Actually, I hope it's not a body. I'm not gonna take that off and there's someone's face in there, am I? Anyway, let's have a look. Right, so, um, it's got a bit battered by the courier, so we'll just pull it. Anyway, lots and lots of level bat. Oof, oof, oof. Oh, can you guess what it is yet? Yes, it's a prison sentence, Mr. Harris. Um, oh, actually, I know what this is, and this is ah, a lovely CPC 464 to go with my cadre of CPC 464s. It looks like it's in decent condition as well. It needs a bit of a clean, but um, other than that, no problem or add. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, and what's in the rest of the box, I hear you ask. Delving deep into the guts of the box, he goes with his trusty slasher knife. Uh, the reason I'm going really, really quick through this video is because I've got to pick my children up in five minutes and I really don't want to have to settle this up again after. So uh, let's see what we've got here. Ooh! It's a bloody great big monitor! Woohoo! And this is, oh, I've been scratched up, but this is going to be used. This is a CTM644 with a 12 volt DC output jack for the 6128, which I've got coming in a couple of days. Excellent. Lovely, lovely, lovely. As long as that works, that's going to be my new monitor choice with an adapter cable. And in here, it looks like we've got an explosion in a tape duplication factory. So uh, let's just have a quick look in there at what we've got. Oh my goodness, I might not have time to do this before I go. Take all the double double wrap out. Look at this. This is totally Airwolf. Totally, totally Airwolf. Let's see what we've got here. Amsoft's Bridget, tape in there. Amsoft's Old Mummy, awesome. Oh my goodness. Hunchback 2, not for resale. Woohoo! That's a phone going off, by the way. I'm going to ignore it. Uh, Rastian, probably Rastian Saga. And Slap Fight, which is some kind of. don't know. Um, what else have I got in here? Captain Blood, the CPC, is that in there? That's meant to be rather good. Captain Blood. Um, oh, broken case. That's what I like about you, Ross. <laughs> it's really warts and all. It's like, shovel it in. If you don't want it, you can stick it in the bin. Uh, rather battered Mega Games 3 thing. We've got here, Daily Thompson Super Desk. Waggle that joystick, I think. on oh, no, that Super Desk 2 in there. Um, Peter Pack Rat for the CPC. Looking good. Let's just check that the tape is actually that. Here by Silverbird, lovely. Okay, goodness me. World Cup Italia, look at that. Bit of bubbly, bubbly wrap. Some actual cash. What's this? Oh, look at that. I bet that was an expensive tape back in the day. Un boutillage placé dommage. Don't know. Right. Um, Amstrad Action Syntax Balloon Buster. Cool. All worth having a look at. Some things. Don't even know what they are. They're just things. They're quite heavy. Okay. Uh, I'll have to come back to this in a bit. I'm running out of time. Target Renegade Case. Ghostbusters for the Amstrad. Awesome. We'll clean up nicely. What we got here? This box is totally Airwolf Grand Prix 2 Top Gun. This thing comes 
complete, completely. Uh, Sultan's Maze. Oh, good. Excellent. Sultan's Maze. Awesome. I might retake that. Roland on the ropes. Awesome. Double Dragon from the Biz box set. Got here. Not for resale. Cyrus Chest 2. Chest, I hate chest. We got Roland in Time. Not a rip off of um, Doctor Who at all. Roland in Time. Good. Needs a wipe, but. I'll take it for free, baby. World Series Baseball, Rampage, very nice. Cobra. Um, mm -mm -mm. Ghostbusters 2, I bet that's shocking. And what's on the other side? Nothing. Lots of blankety blanks here. Let's get rid of those. What looks like a quick shot? Yes. See, that's a really nice little quick shot. Side. Oh, that's going to kill me when she sees this mess. It's going to kill me anyway. I'm working up to it. Time Man 1, Telling the Time and Setting the Clock by Bourne Educational Software. This is actually the uh, the first program which Jason Bourne took um, when he went into the Treadstone project. Um, time Man 1. Yes, that looks really boring. Awesome. Um, Amsoft 3D Boxing. I've got a copy of this already, I think. Um, okay. So what have we got there? Target Renegade that belongs with that case. Alligator. Blagger for the Amstrad. Absolutely bloody impossible game. Ikari Warriors. Awesome. Um, 3D Chess. Or Cyrus 2 Chess. Um, yeah, it looks like another copy. To one side. Blank Tay. World Series of Baseball. Operation Wolf, CPC, that should be fun. Uh, Double Dwagon. The Galactic Plague. I think some of these are worth some money actually, Russ. You might have to have a little service here, bruh. Mystery of Arkham Hannah by Melbourne House. Wish I had the case for that. Let's see, uh, French GCSE. Wizard Willy, that's, that sounds like porn. Airwolf, this box is totally Airwolf. Next uh, case, Amsoft. Animal Vegetable Mineral, how cool! And shit. And, ooh, Spellbound Dizzy, I bet that's not. Please be Spellbound Dizzy, please be Spellbound Dizzy, please be <gasps> Spellbound Dizzy. If that loads, I will absolutely cream in my jeans. Uh, and Rampage inlay. Oh, good. Rastan. Does it work? Well, we're going to find out together. I've connected the uh, cables up in the appropriate manner. It's very dusty. I think it's actually French because all of the ports on the back are in French and it's not got the, um, the raised Amstrad logo that we're used to um, on the um, issue one and issue two. The keys also seem a little bit shallower, which is uh, might just be my memory. I've only got five of these things, so uh, you know my memory isn't what it was. Needs a good clean, um, and seems to uh, let's uh, let's try and power it. Anyway, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Excuse shaky cam. Well, a bit noisy, but that looks pretty good. Okay, so uh, let's look at the tape deck function. Oh, it rewinds. Nothing else. Is that actually going round? Let's have a look. Yep, going round. Good. Sorry for the quality of video. I'm sort of sat in the dark, as it were. Um, let's do a little bit of loading. So hold down control. Press numeric enter, which run and then any key. Uh, often the tape decks will rewind, but when you try and play, because it's going through a, a bit more of the um, mech, as it were, it will sort of suffer a bit. So that's really clear, really, really clear. Very, very happy with that. The colours are perfect uh, to the human eye, but. Um, Obviously there might be a slight, so let's say press play, press play and nothing is happening, 
okay, and then any key, as it says. Is it playing? Seems to be. Well, that's good news because most of my Amstrad tape decks seem to not actually work. Let's see if it actually loads something. Loading Rastan block one, always good. I just switched it to the proper white balance for screens. Really, really impressed. Oh, hey! Let's hear the scratchy, scratchy volume knob. Awesome. Hello YouTube! Let's have a go anyway. A quick one. Huzzah! It's time to play. Dude! Fucking rock! This is Mark from Mark Fixed His Stuff signing out. I'm late to pick up my kids. Subscribe to get your fix and stuff. Thank you, Ross Taylor Green. Bye.